Hi everyone, I'm Fake Life, and this is a quick tutorial on how to draw on the screen in OBS. Have you ever been streaming a game like League of Legends, StarCraft, or Blood Bowl like in this screenshot, and you wanted to draw on the screen to explain something to your viewers? Well, this tutorial is going to show you how you can do that in OBS. In the interest of full disclosure, this is a bit of a pain in the butt to do in OBS. In XSplit, all you have to do is use the right plugin and you can draw on the screen. However, if you like using OBS because it's free, or you like some of the other functionality, like me, and you still want to be able to draw on the screen, then let's go. This tutorial assumes that you already know how to stream with OBS, and you know the basics. If you don't, click on the screen now and you'll be taken to my tutorial which explains how to record, how to stream, and all that kind of good stuff. If you know all that and you're ready to go and draw on the screen, then right-click your sources, click on Add, and select Window Capture. Once you've clicked on Window Capture, you're going to be taken to this Window Capture screen. We're going to take this one section at a time. The top section is the easiest. All you need to do here is click in the Window drop-down and select your Paint Window. Everything else should be default settings. Make sure Inner Window is checked, but other than that, everything is default. The middle section of this window describes the subregion. We're going to take a subregion of our paint program, which we need to be entirely white, and the same aspect ratio as our monitor. In addition, we want this to be maybe a little bit smaller than our monitor, so that the section taken up by the paint window is a little smaller and a little bit easier to work with. For example, I'm using a 1920 by 1080 monitor. I want my subregion to be the same aspect ratio, but a little bit smaller. So I'm going to take 1920 by 1080, and I'm going to multiply them both by 0.75, which is 3 quarters, and I'm going to get 1440 by 810. So that's going to be the size of the subregion I'm going to use to draw on the screen. You might want to work with something a little bigger or a little smaller, but keep in mind it has to be the same aspect ratio as your monitor, or else you're not going to be able to draw on all parts of the screen when you're drawing. So now that we know good numbers for the size, click on the subregion checkbox, and then click on the button that says Select Region. If you clicked on Select Region, you're going to see something that looks about like this. What you want to do is Go to the upper left hand corner of the screen and drag the upper left hand corner of the box down so it only touches the white area and paint. You don't want to capture all of this stuff at the top like the title bar and all the tools. You just want the white part. Now if you can't see the upper left hand corner because the box is too big and it goes off the edge of the screen, go ahead and close up that select region thing by pressing escape or something like that. Go back to this screen and in your position put in something like 100 100 and you should be able to see the top left hand corner of the box so you can move it around however you need to. So once you can see the upper left hand corner of this box to select the region, just drag it down so that corner is somewhere within the white section of paint so all you're getting is the canvas. Once you're done with that, hit the escape button, come back to these two size fields and put in the numbers that you calculated earlier. For example, in my case, 1440 by 810. You should be done. Just to make sure everything's correct, click in that Select Region button, and it should just have a section of the white part, the canvas of paint selected. And if that's all you've got, then everything's great. If you think the region's a little too small and it's going to be hard to draw in, or if you think the region is too big, you're getting maybe some of the edges of the paint program, then you can do some math. You can find some new stuff that matches the aspect ratio of your monitor and fiddle with it a little bit. Just find a number that works for you. Now that we're done with that subregion box, we're going to get to the color key section, which is where the magic happens. You need to click in the checkbox that says use color key, and for the color you want to leave it white. If you've ever messed around with a green screen before, we're basically using the same functionality here for paint. Instead of having a green screen behind a webcam or something like that, we're going to have the white canvas of paint sitting on top of our drawing, and we're going to tell it to filter out all the white stuff so we can draw on paint in some color other than white, and it's going to show up on the screen. For the similarity, you probably want to bump it up to a slightly higher number. I've used 50 here. Probably something between 25 and 50 is fine. The reason for this is if you use really bright colors, like yellows or oranges, and the similarity is too low, then it's going to catch some of the white around your lines, and your lines are going to have this kind of ugly white border around them. So, just try with these settings that I've got here. Use the color key, select white as your color, and put your similarity at 50 or 
25 or something like that. And we'll get started with that. Last thing you need to do, make sure that your source that you've created is at the top of the list. I've called my Intellistrator, so you can see it's at the top. The reason we want it to be at the top is because we want anything that we draw on paint to be displayed over the top of any screens or bars or anything that we have. So just put it at the top, make sure it's checked, and you should be good to go. So let's say I'm streaming a game of Blood Bowl like this. If I want to draw on the screen, we're not going to be touching the actual in-game window at all. That's still going to be there doing its thing. I can click on it and move it up and down, move things around, do whatever I need to in there. This is not going to be affected by anything we draw. So as you're drawing in paint, this is what you're going to see. You're not actually going to be drawing on top of the game. You're going to have to have paint open in a separate window off to the side, and you're going to draw on it. Don't worry about the fact that you can't see things in paint popping up on the game here. That's what the OBS preview window is for. I'll show you what that looks like. In the OBS preview window, this is what we're going to see. Anything that we draw in paint is going to be overlaid on top of the source that is getting the game's information. So you remember when we were looking back at paint, we just saw a bunch of arrows on top of nothing. You couldn't tell where to draw. The idea is you actually have to look at the OBS preview window, and you'll see the little paint cursor, and you'll be able to draw on the screen there. So your mouse cursor is going to be hovering over the paint program, but you're going to need to be looking at the OBS preview window to see where you're drawing. And if you've done all of the steps right so far, you should end up seeing something that looks kind of like this. So that's that. If you've done everything right, you can now draw on the screen. In fact, you can use any of the tools that come with paint to draw. So you can draw circles and rectangles and put text on the screen and draw lines and all that good stuff. And if you want to use some other paint program that does similar kind of stuff, like if you want to use GIMP or Photoshop or something like that, you can do the same kind of thing and you can use their tools. Now, there's a few issues here that we're not going to be able to get around, and I just want to warn you. The first issue is, like I said, you're going to be using your mouse cursor on the paint window while you look at the OBS preview window to see what you're drawing. Unfortunately, you're going to have to have your mouse cursor in one place and your eyes in a different place following it around and drawing. It's a little annoying, but there's no way to work around that, unfortunately. Issue number two you may have problems seeing the paint cursor in the preview window. Um, this is especially going to be a problem if you turned up the similarity pretty high like I did. I normally don't have issues seeing the cursor, but if you do, you might want to turn the similarity value down lower to 25 or 20 or something like that, maybe even 10 or 15. And you're going to get a little bit of ugly white lines if you use... um. A light color like yellow or orange but if you use a slightly darker color to draw on the screen like red then it's not going to be a problem the third issue and the one which i think is the biggest deal is in order to do all of this you need the obs preview window and paint or whatever drawing program you're using and the game you're playing visible and accessible at pretty much all times assuming you want to be able to move around in the game in addition to drawing on the screen. And I think that's the biggest problem because even with two monitors, it's kind of problematic to have all of these windows up and each one of them needs to be in the foreground so you can see what's going on there. If you have three monitors, more power to you, you will have no issues with this. If you don't, then you may have to make the sub-region and paint a little bit smaller so it doesn't have to take up as much of the screen for you to draw on it. It's actually a bit of an annoyance. It's probably the biggest problem with this whole drawing on the screen thing, unfortunately. So that's all I've got. That's the best way I know of right now to draw on the screen while you're streaming and let people see whatever it is you want to draw overlaid on top of your game. I mean, here's to hoping that at some point a plugin comes in and makes this as easy in OBS as it is in XSplit. It would be a whole lot easier if you could just draw directly into the OBS preview window and remove this whole extra step of paint. 
in the meantime, I think this is as good as we can get. And I hope it's useful to someone out there. That's all I have. If you have any questions, if you had trouble setting this up, or you have any further questions, or if you know a better way of doing this, feel free to leave me a message down in the comments. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.